Hello everyone, in this video I'll talk about certain terminologies and their clinical importance which you might have already guessed from the title of this video which should be well understood to have a clarity about the concepts of occlusion. You know, attempting to restore an occlusion or uh, correcting a problematic bite or maybe even reshaping a high restoration without a precise knowledge about maxillomandibular relationship can result in time wastage or frustration of both the dentist and the patient and unnecessary overtreatment, you know. And how can we expect to construct a strong building if the very foundation is weak? So that means that if we want to ensure the longevity of a dental restoration, we need to have a clear understanding about certain concepts like centric relation, centric occlusion, maximum intercuspation, vertical dimension, anterior guidance, neutral zone or plane of occlusion and the list is so long. But in this video, I'll talk about centric relation, centric occlusion and maximum intercuspation. The remaining of them will be covered in the upcoming videos. So if you are interested to know, then continue watching this video. So we'll start with understanding the concept of a centric relation first. Recording of an accurate centric relation is really significant for the most cost effective and the most time effective and trouble free restorative or a prosthetic dentistry you know? and here I'll just divide the definition of uh, centric relation into small parts so that it will make it easy for you to understand we literally do uh, the dissection of um, the definition of centric relation here so centric relation is the relationship of the mandible to the maxilla when there is a properly aligned condyle disc assembly and that also uh, the, when the condyle disc assemblies they are in their uh, the most superior most position against their respective eminentia and this has to be there irrespective of uh, the vertical dimension or the tooth position So we'll start with the first part of uh, the definition of centric relation which is the relationship of uh, mandible to maxilla. Now what does it mean? This means that whenever there is any variation in the condylar position, this is going to result in a change in the closing arc of uh, the mandibular teeth against the maxillary teeth. That means whenever uh, there is a change in the condylar position, this will change the closing arc of uh, the mandible against the maxillary teeth. So hence the position of the condyle disc assembly uh, determines, what does it determine? It determines the maxillary mandibular relationship during jaw closure. Now the second part of the definition of centric relation is the properly aligned condyle disc assemblies. So when the condyle and disc are properly aligned in centric relation, all the loadings, that is all the compressive forces are directed through the avascular and non-innovative structures. And these avascular and non-innovative structures are uh, designed to accept the loading. Hence a properly aligned condyle disc assembly can resist maximum loading by the elevator muscles. And that also with no signs of discomfort. That means there is no discomfort, no pain when the condyle disc assembly is properly aligned. Whereas on the other hand, if the condyle disc assembly is not properly aligned, that means if the disc gets misaligned, all the loading forces are directed through the highly vascularized and innovative tissues that ultimately respond with pain or discomfort. Now the next part is, that when the condyle disc assemblies are in the superior most position against the eminentia, you will understand it better with the help of this picture that when the condyles are fully seated, the front of the condyle with the disc interposed contacts against the posterior slopes of uh, their respective articular eminence. And the reason for advocating the anterior superior position of the condyle disc assembly is that it is the physiologic position of the condyles when the mandible is elevated firmly by the normal muscle function. 
now the elevator muscles are uh, distant to the teeth or we can say that they are in between the teeth and the tmj as we can clearly see in this picture that uh, the elevator muscles they are present distal to the teeth or we can say that they are present in between the teeth and the tmj and the contraction of these elevator muscles keep the condyle disc assembly loaded throughout the functional movements now this uh, position that means the centric relation is irrespective of vertical dimension or tooth position in centric relation the condyles can rotate on a fixed axis to an opening of about 20 mm but there is this false belief amongst some clinicians who discredit the use of uh, face bow recordings and articulators claiming that the vertical dimension cannot be accurately changed on an articulator which is absolutely wrong in fact the truth is that if the condyles are in centric relation they can rotate on a fixed axis this is really important from a, a clinical point of view for you to understand that when a bite record is made at any point of opening of uh, the correct cr arc that means at any point of opening of the correct centric relation arc is still in centric relation therefore when the casts are mounted on an articulator in cr using a face bow record the vertical dimension can be increased or decreased without introducing any error so basically a centric relation is a jaw position which is physiologically and biomechanically correct and it is the only jaw position that permits an interference free occlusion so in short i can say that centric relation is a bone to bone relationship whereas centric occlusion is the occlusion of opposing teeth when the mandible is in a centric relation and this centric occlusion may or may not coincide with the intercostal position that means uh, it is not necessary that centric occlusion will coincide with the intercostal position now what is maximum intercuspation or mip so this is uh, the complete intercuspation of the opposing teeth independent of the condylar position sometimes it is referred to as the best fit of the teeth regardless of the condylar position so it is the tooth to tooth relation in maximum contact whereas centric relation is bone to bone relation as i've already stated before and uh, all the occlusal problems that means all the problems which are related to occlusion begin when there is a mismatch between a centric relation and maximum intercuspation if this mismatch is minor then the tmj adapts itself to the maximum intercuspal position and this posture is called as the adapted centric posture or acp so yeah that's it for today i hope uh, you found this video helpful and now you'll be better able to differentiate between centric relation centric occlusion and maximum intercuspation and uh, stay tuned for the next video where i'll talk about the muscle in cramps and the logic behind the relationship between centric relation and tooth interference so turn make it blue from black and share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge make sure that you are subscribed to this channel dentistified if you haven't already and hit that notification bell which is next to the subscribe button so that you will get notified each time i upload a new video so i'll see you super soon in my next video till then take care